Hi students, this is Miss Oberly with lesson 10-6, the distance formula. Today our goal is that by the end of this lesson you will be able to use the distance formula to find the distance between two points. So what is the distance formula? Well, I love the distance formula because it's based on everybody's favorite theorem, the Pythagorean theorem. And it can be used to find the distance between any two points on a coordinate grid. So the idea, and if you can see this here, let's see if I can bring up my highlighter, um, is that if you have two points that you want to find the distance between, um, and they're points that don't go like straight up and down or straight from left to right, we can't count that distance anymore. So we use the fact that we could find um, the distance up and down and the distance from right to right um, to find that third side of the triangle, so that hypotenuse of the triangle. Um, if you don't understand that piece, we could talk more about that in class or you could ask your math teacher. But the big thing you need to know is this is the formula. This formula will be given to you on any major assessment like the MCA, the NWEA, or even in class. So it's not a formula you need to memorize, but um, you need to be able to know how to use it. So let's try using it with this first example. Our job here is to find the distance between points that are given. So these coordinates, negative 2, negative 2, and negative 5, negative 8. Um, I like to first go in and label my points as x and y, x and y. And a lot of people like to label them as the first point, and the second point so that they can use this formula easily. You don't have to though. You just have to remember whatever x you start with when you're subtracting you want to start with that same y. But let's let's set it up this way. So we know our distance is going to equal the square root of and we're going to do y2 minus y1. So look up here our y2 is negative 5 minus and our y1 is negative 2. Can you predict where people might make their mistake? You're right with this part. You have to remember to include a minus whether the number is positive or negative. And then we're going to do our, our y2 minus our y1. So negative 8 minus our y1 is also a negative number, so we have to remember to get both of the negatives in there. Um, you can get ahead of the curve by really being careful with that. Um, lots of students will struggle with that. So minus a negative we know turns into plus. So our distance is equal to the square root of negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3 squared plus negative 8 plus 2 is negative 6 squared. So our distance equals, remember we always do exponents first, a negative 3 squared is like negative 3 times negative 3 which is positive 9, negative 6 squared is like negative 6 times negative 6 which is positive 36, and our answer is g equals the square root of 45. So you could leave your answer like this or you could of course get the decimal answer. Either way is fine. Let's try another example. Um, so Luana and Ken are meeting at a restaurant in the marina. So let's look at this picture here. So here's where Luana's starting, here's where Ken's starting. They're meeting at this marina. Ken takes his boat while Luana is driving her car. The sides of each grid square on the map represent one mile. How far did Ken travel? Well, the cool thing about where Ken is going is it's straight up and down. So we don't even have to use the distance formula. We can just count. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that distance is 10 miles. Um, how far did Moana travel? Bummer, we cannot count this. So we are going to have to use the distance formula. 
So this point is negative 2, 0. And this point is 1, 2, 3, negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my first job would always be to find those coordinates. Then I'd label them as x and y. And then I'd label them as the first point and our second point. All right, so now I can use the distance formula. d equals x2 minus x1 squared. So 3 minus, think ahead of me. Do you know what people are going to do wrong here? 3 minus negative 2. Did you get both of those negatives in there? Plus y minus y. So y2 is negative 5 minus 0, y1. Now we can simplify and find our distance. So d equals 3 minus a negative 3 is like 3 plus 3, which is 5. Don't forget that it's squared. Negative 5 minus 0 is negative 5. So this is the same thing as 25 plus 25, which is 50. And the square root of 50, well, well the square root of 49 is 7, so I know it's going to be 7 point something. Let me see if I can calculate this really quickly. If you wanted to find the decimal, it's 7.07 miles. All right, and our last question is, how many times as great is the distance that Ken traveled as the distance that Lawanda traveled? So I'm going to put ten, Ken's distance and divide it by Lawanda's, or not Lawanda, just Lawanda, no D, 0, 7, and get my final answer, which is 1.41 times as great. Awesome. Thank you for listening, and good luck with the distance formula.